Okay, and we're live. <laughs> I just spent the last 20 minutes running around to find out where I left my phone. This is a daily occurrence with me, and, oh, so annoying. But hey, I found it, and I am about to film my very first ever junk journal. Um, as you guys, if you've ever watched my videos, you know that I'm a mini album maker, and I can make a mean midden, mid, <laughs> a mean hidden hinge. But the mere thought of sewing a signature into a book, and I'm not even talking about sewing on a machine. I'm just talking about some damn embroider, embroidery floss. <laughs> oh my gosh, that held me back for so long. But I had a very dear friend that said, come on, <laughs> give it a shot. And I had given it a shot, but I don't think a very thorough one. So I did this time, and this is what I ended up with. So here we go on the front of the journal. And I only did one signature, guys, as to not get too crazy. Um, here we go. This is a charm that I actually made last year with my mother, who's really good at making these charms, and I've tried to recreate them and do them again, and I only get frustrated. So, at least the colors matched. <laughs> um, and on the front here is an applique from Esme's shop, and it starts over here and runs all the way on to the back. And then these are just some ephemera um, pieces that I had in my stash. I have one back there. And I also have one on the front here. And this is a little doodad. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it's on there. Um, and I use, I think this is a Tim Holtz um, doorknob, I believe. Um, and I just wrapped some sorry silk around it. And... Like that. So, let's open it. Oh, open this puppy up. All right, so, on the first page, I have some Esme's lace that I used as a pocket. This is a little, um, like, I want to say like a lace snippet. It's not a bookmark, really. Um, I don't know. It's something I was fooling around with one night. Um, and they're so easy and simple to make. Gotta love that, right? And then this is, again, an ephemera piece that I've had in my stash probably for who knows how long. Um, over here, we've got a, co a coffee dyed piece of paper, a little bit of stamping over there, and I can't find these doggone stamps. It's like my phone. I lose them, too. Um, and here is just um, a little flower cluster that I fussy cut out of a collection, and you can use it as a top spot, right, like that, okay, oh, wait, oh, yeah, and I think this is some lace that, um, Mariella sent me in one of our swaps, because we, we've done a lot of swapping, y'all, all right, and, um, down here, this is, I don't think this is as made lace, I think I got this somewhere, who knows where, here is a little stick pin, um, in there, um, this is from a, collection I want to say it's from Michaels because I really don't buy uh, paper much from Michaels but I, I had this and I think that's where it came from and then in here we've got a few ephemera pieces um this is this is a little booklet it came out of a old prima collection like maybe debutante or something like that um and then these are just little ephemera pieces that I already had I don't know, they're upside down, like you can even tell, right? Okay, so this is, this is an envelope, I think. <laughs> Listen to me, I think. I made this all of a week ago, and I can't remember already. Welcome to my damn world. Alrighty, now here, down here, this is ephemera piece, and that, oh no, that's already on there. So this came out of, um, Graphic 45's, uh, ro Romantic? Romantique collection. There we go. I think that's it. Um, and I've got a little, um, oh my God, my words today. A little cameo piece right here. And in there are, um, this is a little, you know what this is? This is some <laughs> parchment paper. I did a little bit of stamping on the front and put some little enamel dots up there. And this is just a little piece of ephemera that was in there. That was that side, right? Yeah. All right, and now this side, you flip it over. 
Again, you've got a little flower cluster that I fussy cut, and I think this is an old Prima collection, like Tales of You and Me, something along those lines. A couple little tags. Um, this comes off. This is a pocket. So this comes off. This is from the Romantic collection, and I, I guess that's probably just ephemera from my stash. No, in there. And then, did I already pull that out? No, I guess I did. Uh, this is some lace. I think this is Esme lace. Um, don't hold me to it. And this, I think, is from Notions of Beauty. Debbie. Um, I call her Sweetie because she's always calling everybody Sweetie. She's the sweetest lady. If you haven't checked out her channel, you should do so. This is um, an ephemera something or another that I had. And a couple pieces that come out of here. It's held with a clip. So this is an old ephemera piece. And this came out of the collection, the Romantic. Oh, are you stuck? There we go. I like that image. I think it's really pretty. All right. Next page is nada. And I, at the end, you'll see I started leaving some pages with really not much of anything on them because I realized that these things get chunky really fast. And I love chunky. But... I thought, well, for my first one, let's just not overdo, right? Um, okay, over here. Why is that? Is it? <laughs> it's a piece of vellum. I don't know where it goes. All right, we'll put that there. This is um, a pocket from the Romantique collection, a, a coffee dyed doily. Some lace I already had in my stash, a little cheesecloth. And this is a little uh, floral or... Uh, Flower from Notions of Beauty. I take these out already. I, I don't know. I'm losing it, yo. All right, a couple pieces of ephemera. We'll go into that pocket. Turn it over, and you've got more of the same. So, you got a little pocket behind this image here. This is a little heart... Um, sort of like crochet trim that I got from Esme a couple weeks ago um, on French Lace Night, I think. I did a little bit of stamping. This is just a gem from my stash. This is just a piece of cardstock I had in my stash. Over here, we've got some crochet trim. I, I've i had this for years. Don't know where I got it. Probably off of eBay somewhere. Um, again, a little border with the Notions of Beauty um, trims. And this is a um, old book. I don't even think I dyed this. I think these pages are just that color. And then I love this image. Isn't that so pretty? And I just shoved it in there. Um, a little bit of stamping on this page. And the same on this page. This is a craft colored glassine bag with a coffee dyed doily. Front and back. Oh, look. Look. There it is. My floss stitching right? I'm so queer. <laughs> um, and on this side, did I, is this a tuck spot? Nope, guess not. That's a sticker from the collection, and clearly I stuck it. Usually I put a backing on them. Oh, well, no biggie. Flip over, and I left it blank. I don't know why, because you can't draw on it. <laughs> um, okay, so this here is an image that I think I got um, from Paper Rose Cottage on Mm, Etsy. Um, this is some just a small piece of some Esme um, lace. And in here, we've got a pocket with a... What are you? Yep, that's just a piece I had in my stash. In there. And then this flips open this way. And you've got some coffee dyed paper with a little stamping. You've got a tag with paper from the collection. All right, flip that over. And <laughs> there's nothing. I do like the way sometimes when I'm not paying attention, which is 99% of the time, um, that the coffee dyed paper has these little, you know, it looks almost marbleized. I like that. Um, okay. This one is the back of that kind of cardstock that I already had in here. And this is, um, an ephemera piece from my stash. It's really pretty. But I decided to use the side that had less color in it. Because this album just doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of color. Um, I'll work on that. 
Um, over here, we've got one of the, um, you know, your uh, mail that comes. I've been trying to remember to keep them, but my husband, when he gets home, he's like, rip. I'm like, babe, I wanted that envelope. He's like, oh, I keep forgetting. I'm like, you're useless. Um, and so I've got a couple little um, ephemera pieces down here. This is some eyelet trim that I beat dyed. Um, is that beet or avocado? Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's dyed. Let's just put it that way. Turn this over. I love the crinkliness of stuff. I don't know. Like, I just love the noise that it makes. I can't be the only one out there that likes that, right? Because clearly I know I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Um, and here are just, this is a little tag that I had in my stash. And this is an ephemera piece. Uh, I think from a paper lot that I got like a hundred pieces or something off of, um, eBay. Yeah. All right. Stop it. Over here. Um, I didn't even stamp over here. I just put a little paper clip, um, with an ephemera. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, clearly it didn't want to come off. I think that's pretty. I wish I could remember where I got it. <laughs> All right, flip it back in there. Flip it on over. And here we've got some like like uh, notebook paper, like lined paper, like the kind of notebook stuff you have in school. All right, it you, you see what it is. <laughs> and this is um, one of the small little pieces from the Romantic collection. This is a little flower cluster I think I did from use from Graphic 45's Portrait of a Lady because my two very favorite collections of Graphic 45 is Portrait of a Lady and Lady's Diary. And if I had to pick one out of the two, I would say Lady's Diary hands down. I in fact, I get so scared when I think that I might be getting close to not having enough that I reorder it, which I think is now. I think now's the time. <laughs> All right, take the little clip off. Open this up, and you've got, this came with one of my orders from um, Notions of Beauty. So sweet, Debbie. Um, oh, yeah, right. And another piece of ephemera. It's got a chair on it. I don't know where I got that. Um, and I like this side better. This is like the newspaper print, the old-timey newspaper print. And again, came from my stash, probably from eBay, I would guess. Let me close that out because I don't want everything flying. Not that it matters where it's actually located, but... And this is a... I think this is one of the envelopes that Muriela sends me. She sends me, like, the flat... They're not glassine, but they have a coating on the inside. I don't know what they are, but I love them. I'm going to ask her where she got them. Um, this is a sticker from the collection, and this is some trim that Mary Ellis sent me, my dear, dear friend that I can't wait to meet. She's amazing, you guys. She's like my ultimate cheerleader. Oh, girly, cannot wait. Um, this is a sticker from the collection, and these are two ephemera pieces, or cut aparts. I keep calling them ephemera. In a mini album, I call them cut aparts. In a junk journal, clearly I'm already always lost. Um, over here is just a little bit of crochet trim that I had. I did a little bit of stamping. Flip her on over, and I did a little bit more stamping. I can't find my stamps. This is going to annoy the daylights out of me. Oh, well. Um, and this is like a little um, bow, like bow tie. And I thought, oh, how apropos when you put the marriage, like, uh, cut apart the bow tie, right? Every once in a while, I have a good idea. Don't knock me. <laughs> um, and this is some lace from Esme's shop, Crafty Me Shop. And this I cut off of an applique of hers. And this is some really pretty little pearl dainty lace trim that Mariella sent me. And I made this a pocket. And stop the madness. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is just a little um, ephemera, like a postcard, carpe diem, or <laughs> however you pronounce it. Opened it up, and there's a couple of teeny little things in here. You got one of these tiny, tiny envelopes, and a little, I think that looks like a flag from one of the, I don't know exactly, don't, I don't know. But anyway, they go in there. Um, I did a tiny bit of stamping on this little puppy, 
This is like a little dragonfly, I think. Um, and then, yeah. And that is it. And we are to the back. And this phone didn't cut me off today. Oh, I'm so stoked. I finally figured out how to do it. Only took me six months, you guys. Okay. Mama seat to sweat. And it's like in the 80s today. It went from 50 to 80s. Woo, Nelly. Alrighty, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. And um, taking a walk through with me on my first junk journal. I'm working on my second one um, now. Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Make it a great day. Peace out.